What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. That would be Sky walking past the table and shaking it. <laughs> For those of you that are new, my name is Emma and I'm just so excited that you guys are here. I currently have 81 81 of you are subscribed to my channel and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It means so much to me. I really started this channel to just kind of go through my life and be able to like look back on things for myself and the fact that I get to share it with all of you guys just makes me so excited and so happy. For those of you that don't know, this is Skye. <laughs> She's my three-year-old silver lab, and all of the noises you hear are coming from this one. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Can you high five? Can you high five? No, you don't eat me. High five. Good girl. Yeah, okay. You go lay down now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, if you guys watched my last video, you guys know that I have decided to go back to school. And I am super excited for it. I am going back to school to become a vet tech. And I am so excited for this journey that I've decided on and I could not be happier. I know it's going to be a lot of work and I know that there's going to be a lot that needs to go into this, but I'm just so excited. And the fact that I get to share it with all of you just makes me so happy. So obviously YouTube is not my full-time job. YouTube is just kind of a hobby for me and it allows me to like look back on parts of my life. So that's kind of why I make these videos. Um, but I did get a couple questions on how did I pick this topic? How did I decide to go to vet school or vet tech school? And I just figured that I would share it with all of you and my little journey. My journey is definitely different than your typical graduate high school, go for my associate's degree and become vet tech. It's totally different. I am going back as a full grown adult, which is crazy because I still don't feel like an adult. Um, but I do have my like little cheat sheet here, so I'll be like looking down at it. But anyway. So, I kind of always, when I was young, always played with animals, always had stuffed animals, always wanted to be a veterinarian, but never really thought that I could do it. Um, and then I realized blood kind of freaked me out. And as I got older, I kind of realized that only kind of human blood freaks me out, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Um, but. I ended up going a completely different route in college. So I decided that I was gonna go the equine route and I actually went to Johnson & Wales University and got my bachelor's degree in equine business management and I did a concentration in finance, which is crazy because I feel like I still kept with like the animals. I still kind of wanted to go somewhat towards that route. And I did really want to open my own farm one day. And then I slowly realized that where I live and opening my own farm and making that kind of money to live where I live just doesn't really work out. It's more of like a dream job. And I feel like I would love to do it if I still did it but I also kind of got to my senior year of college and decided this is more of a hobby for me and I didn't really love the way that it made me feel and I really wanted it to just stay a hobby I didn't want it to feel like work for me so that's kind of what led me in the direction of stepping away from the equine studies so fast forward I graduated I had no clue what I wanted to do in life zero clue zero like nothing and my mom always worked in like interior design my whole life pretty much and she worked in like the sales end of it but she loved it and she was like I bet I could get you a job working and in, in sales and somewhat of an interior design so I was like okay that'll work that'll pay my loans that'll pay my car payment that'll pay all my other bills that I had going on and so I got a job in sales and I quickly realized how much I absolutely hated sales hated despised it was miserable I was miserable like I would literally call my mom on the way home from work and complain for the full 30 minutes and then I would come home and complain to Cody so it was just a very bad 
bad thing for me. It just didn't work out. It took me a whole pandemic pretty much to figure out what I wanted to do. I got laid off from my job, which was a blessing in disguise because I was so miserable. And I decided, okay, I'm going to figure out what I truly want to do in life and what will make me happy and what I will actually really enjoy. And scrolling through Indeed and just going and looking at jobs and trying to apply for jobs in a pandemic and dealing with all of this stuff just was difficult. And I eventually found a whole bunch of vet tech positions that were available. And I was like, this sounds great. I really was struggling and I did try a couple of other paths and a couple of other routes and they just didn't work out for me. And I didn't really fully enjoy them like I thought I would. So I was like, you know, it's okay. Things happen for a reason, right? So I decided to go the route of becoming a vet tech. So my beginning search was pretty much just looking for schools. I was Googling schools near me with vet tech programs that I could go to, or obviously since we were still in a pandemic, things that were maybe online. I was just looking for any kind of option for me that was out there. And I came across my local community college that offers vet tech program. So I quickly went online, I was reading all about the program, and I quickly realized that there were a couple of different options. There was an option where you apply as a high school student or a high school graduate, and then there was also where you basically took your prereqs and you're still a college student. For me, it was totally different because I was technically already graduated, like I have my bachelor's degree now. and. I was kind of thinking, well, how am I going to apply? I don't really know how to apply. I will definitely put the links down below in case anyone in the area is interested in how to apply or any questions like that. I will definitely link it down below. When I was on the website, I found the program coordinator and I decided to just email him because I wasn't really getting anywhere on the phones. It was as school was ending. So I believe it was in May that I decided to do this. And so I just decided that if I couldn't get through on the phones, that I could get through through an email. So I emailed the program coordinator. He was so nice. I basically took pictures of my degree and all the classes I took through my bachelor, my four years of being at Johnson & Wales, which is where I went. And he basically said, okay, all of your things look great. I'm gonna send you over to an admissions person and they're going to help you. I believe he said you might need one or two classes and then you would be able to apply to the program in January. And the program started or starts in September of every year. So I was a little nervous because I was like, okay, I missed the deadline, what am I gonna do? I was freaking out. But first I had to realize or I had to figure out what other classes I needed in order to apply. So the admissions person told me that I only needed two classes to apply, which were two science classes, which I just hadn't taken in the past five years, I think it was. I took one of them, but that was over 10 years ago and in high school, which is very sad to say. But I ended up signing up for those two classes through the same community college so that way I knew that they would transfer I knew that it would just be a quick and easy thing they would already have it on their records and I would be able to apply in January so now that I know that I've signed up for the two classes that I need to be able to apply to the vet tech program in January my mind can ease a little bit but also at the same time I'm like what am I gonna do in the meantime and also, what if I apply to this program and I don't really even like it? So I ended up searching, what can you do before a vet tech? Like, how can you get in a vet office? How can I get my hands wet? You know, dip my toe in the pool if I could. And I ended up finding a veterinary assistant program. And it's just two nights a week. I ended up finding it through my local BOCES, which is like an adult education program. So they do night classes, which is great. So I can still get a job during the day. Um, but 
it is going to be a Tuesday night and a Thursday night from like 6.30 to 9.30 or something like that. And I'm so excited to have that. This program starts in September and goes until May. So my reasoning of doing this extra program was that I would be able to have that under my belt. I figured some of those things might even help me in my vet tech classes that I'll eventually be taking if I hopefully get into the program. And I'll be able to also work as a veterinary assistant while I'm going to school for becoming a vet tech. So I feel like that will really, really help me. And it honestly just gave me like a three year plan of what I have to do and where I have to go and what I, what steps I have to take in order to get to the goal. So that is pretty much the reason that I signed up for the vet assistant program. I didn't want to sit around. I didn't want there to really be any thing that's wasted, any time that was wasted. I also really wanted something that I could use and I could put pretty much in my back pocket and be able to use it. But I hope that I will still be able to get a job in that field at least and then hopefully I'll be able to have contacts and it'll go from there. So that is pretty much my three year plan because vet tech school is two years and my vet assistant school is one year. So it's definitely a lot. It's a lot of hard work and that's also kind of why I've decided to just step back on YouTube and do a one video a week kind of upload schedule. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I can answer them through DMs on my Instagram as well if you don't want to be as public about it. But I will link everything I can down below, especially if you're in the Long Island, Eastern Long Island area. Um, I will definitely link below the program that I'm going to be applying to for vet tech. I will link the program that I've already signed up for for a veterinary assistant. And also, if you guys have any questions on who I contacted, I don't want to put their information in the description, but if you want to direct message me or leave me a comment, I can definitely direct message you back and let you know who I contacted. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video isn't going to be for everybody, but I am just so excited to start basically my new career, my new life path. It's just very exciting, especially for me where I've pretty much been lost for the past year. And if you were feeling that same way, feel free to DM me. I'm always here to talk to you guys and help you try and overcome a hardship that you've come across or a path that you're not really sure which one to take. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.